morning, y'all. I'm on my way to the doctor's. I had a <sighs> crazy night last night. It was, I don't even know how to say it. It was so crazy. I think I slept like two hours. I'm not, not stretching at all. I laid down, I went to bed at 10. I laid down and I could not fall asleep. Like whatever I did, I could not fall asleep. And then when I was almost asleep, like my baby would move around, I'd get a cramp. It was always something. So I literally got like two hours of sleep. It is seven o'clock. I am on my way to my doctor's appointment this morning. I got to do my glucose test and I'm supposed to eat a high protein breakfast, but I haven't had breakfast yet because I was trying to get some sleep. And then I figured I would just stop somewhere and get some breakfast. So I'm gonna stop at Dunkin' and probably get some breakfast there. But you guys, the most crazy thing that happened to me this morning is my husband on his way out the driveway to go to work, he backed into my car. And now if he hears like some scraping noises and stuff, he like hit the front end and like the bumper is kind of the thing that goes around the wheel and whenever I turn a little bit it kind of hits the wheel so I feel very very um, dangerous I feel like people are gonna want to stay away from my car because it looks like a nice car but it looks like it's been through the ringer a couple times you know so I don't know I guess this little baby just can't get a break She's got to go in the shop now and get fixed. So, I don't know. It's just, whatever. I just, oh my gosh. It's just been a morning, you know? Just one of those crazy mornings where everything is going not how you expect it. But, we're all safe. We're all happy and we're all you know, still living, so that's all that matters, so. You guys hear that? It's freaking me out. I tried to bend it back, I tried to do everything, but it's just like so smashed in. <laughs> I literally can't. So, after my doctor's appointment, I need to go get some groceries. My fridge is so empty. I have nothing. I don't have eggs, I don't have milk, I don't have mayonnaise I don't have I don't have anything I don't all I have is bell peppers some leftover hamburg leftover chicken and I think some yogurt and that's all I have so uh, I was gonna wake up earlier this morning clean out my fridge before I get groceries so that way when I get home I can just put it all away but uh, my night didn't go as I planned so I didn't do that at all so we're just gonna get the groceries after my appointment and then we're just gonna probably just head home and you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here, did my drink. Now I'm waiting on my midwife to check me. Then I gotta wait for like an hour to do my tests. So, wait on the midwife. Okay. I was in the office, the doctor's office. I drank my little drink and I was feeling fine and dandy. I did my little visit. We listened to his heartbeat. Everything was going good, you know? I felt good and then I sat out in 
the waiting room to do my blood work, which is done now, but I just sit out there to do my blood work and I just got so hot and clammy. Like I felt like I was just gonna faint. So I went up to the window, I was like, hey, can I have some water or something? I feel like I'm gonna faint, I need something. So the nurse comes out, she puts like a wet towel on here and on my neck. So then I sat there for like 15, 20 minutes. Just sat there with my head back and was just like relaxing so I don't like pass out. So I was just sitting there and then she came out, she took me back asked me how I'm feeling or whatever, gave me some water. Then I sat there and put my legs up and everything and was just trying to live, trying to fight for my life here, fighting for my life. But I was, it was just so nerve wracking and scary. Like I just wanna go home and sleep now. I feel like I need to sleep because it was so crazy that did definitely did not happen to me last time so I don't know why it did happen to me this time but I'm never doing that glucose test again if I ever get pregnant again I'm gonna decline it I'm gonna say no thanks I don't have diabetes okay like take it somewhere else I felt miserable there were so many people in the waiting room like looking watching me it was like oh this is so embarrassing but you can't do anything about it. So now I had to get groceries still and I still feel a little woozy or whatever. Like I feel kind of odd. I feel like I'm like not in my right body, mind or whatever. So I went to Once Upon a Child, which is pretty close to the doctor's office. I'm gonna run in and see if they got stuff for little baby and my daughter. And then after that, I'm gonna go get groceries if I feel better. But let's go shopping. I just got out of Aldi now. I got all my groceries and everything, but I did get a new dip that I want to try. I need to eat something because I'm still feeling a little bit weird. So I'm going to try this cauliflower dip with roasted chili and pepper jack. No idea if this is going to be good or not. Oh, it smells good. These, if you guys have never tried these, you have to go get them. They are the best cracker there is ever. Like I'm telling you, I will shred these with something like sharp cheddar. Oh my gosh, so good. But let's try this cauliflower dip. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Oh yeah. can't taste the cauliflower. You can definitely taste like roasted chili, but I just like roasted peppers and then just like 
garlicky. Try those. Let's head home. I made it home. I put all my things away. Now I'm just, I still feel like, just, I don't feel like myself. I don't feel very well. So I'm just gonna lay on the couch for a bit and chill and try to take a little nap. My daughter is doing her little um, schoolwork or her little learning games on her tablet while I relax for a bit. And then my husband is on the way home from work. So I'm gonna try to relax before dinner time. So that way I can make dinner and feel better. I just feel like out of my body in a weird way. I don't know how to say it, but I don't feel very well. So I'm just gonna sit here, try to sleep and maybe watch some Married at First Sight, the new season, so. Okay guys, I'm off the couch. I'm feeling better. I know my hair looks crazy, but I wanted to show you guys my little haul that I got today from the kids clothes. This is my daughter's, this is my son's. He's not here yet, if you are new. I'm currently 28 weeks today. She's getting chonky. I'm still a little slow. So if my wording, wording and stuff like sounds weird and like is just like slow, it's because I still don't feel a hundred percent but I feel better I feel better so I got my daughter these little shorts I got them because most of the like pants are just too big for her like around the waist and stuff and then like the waist is too big but then down here would be like too tight or whatever so I got these for sure because they had these drawstrings I thought that would be good for her got these cute little biker shorts and these pants I thought were so cute. And these little shorts with this little belt. And then I just got a plain black shirt and I'm gonna tuck that in. And I think that's gonna look so good together. Then I just got this little stripy shirt. And I got this cute little pink jumpsuit for her. She needed some clothes. This little thing these little shorts i thought they were so cute little shorts just look so adorable but i got her some gymnastic outfits for when the fall session starts i think august are sign up so did that i got this stay kind little gymnastic outfit and then this gymnastic outfit for the little baby boy we just got i i like have some newborn stuff but i don't have a lot like i have a, most of my clothes that i have so far are either three to six or zero to three so i needed to get some newborn stuff you know just i need to start buying some here and there and so i have it so I got this cute little onesie with probably these pants. I like to get outfits together. I either got that one or these. Wait, this is my daughter's. This is a pair of black biker shorts. I either got this pair to go with this or this one. I don't know, not this one. Probably this one. I'm not sure. I think I got these two to go together. Then I think I got this little green sweater that goes with this and then i think i got this green thing to go with that and i got this red hoodie onesie to go with that and then i just got some sleepers this blue little sleeper this little sleeper and I'm trying to get different colors because I like go for mostly like nude colors or white and black and like bluish. So I'm, I'm trying to go a little out. That's why I got some greens and some other colors, but I got this, this little green one, this one. I 
thought the little koalas were so cute. I was like, get something different. Everything I got is just like plain patterned. Nothing has anything on it. So I was like, you need to get something, girl. So I got that. And then this cute little Nike Hi. one. That is my Once Upon a Child haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Excuse the hair, but now it's time to make dinner. My husband said he stopped at like this random guy's little food. A produce stand beside the road on the way home from work and he got me like three zucchinis and he got a whole bag of sweet corn and I'm gonna make Mexican street corn for dinner and then he also got ooh, a bag of peaches he got this big boy so we're gonna have Mexican street corn and some watermelon for dinner maybe I'll cut up some peaches too to eat but the zucchini I'll probably make tomorrow night. I love making fried zucchini. It's just mm, summer. Guys, I'm also making cucumber. I look so hectic, like my hair, everything. But I'm also making cucumber salad with mayonnaise. And my husband is currently shooting the ground. But anyways, I'm also making cucumber salad for dinner. The sweet corn is ready. And now I'm just making cucumber salad. I don't know. I'll show you how you, I make it. You just take this little concoction, you pour it on the cucumbers. I did add pepper in mine too. Just some regular black pepper. And then you mix this up. Then you just set this in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. And it's so refreshing, like, especially with like sweet corn and that, the best combination ever. How I make my Mexican street corn is all you need mayonnaise, and you need this cheese, and then you need these three seasonings. And if you don't have this, you can use Parmesan as well. Take a bowl, mix some sour cream and some mayonnaise in there. Then just take your brush. Dip it, and dab it, and go. Lather these puppies up. Do that. Then I just take my cheese. Sprinkle it on there. Give it a good coating. do like a coating like that you can do more but my husband likes it like that then I just take my seasonings and I just put it on there of course don't put it like if you don't want it as spicy you just don't put a lot on and there we go
fine, but you're not even going to like it. Oh, whatever, it will be fun. <laughs>